okay guys our next topic is creating a query so how can we create a query open page number 45 exists provide two ways to create select queries by using query wizard and the query design okay in two ways we can create query creating a query in design view first follow the steps Design view gives us more control over a query. That's why it is very popular uh, step. And create a view. Open the database and click on create tab on the ribbon. Okay, now click on uh, query design. You can see this is the option. Now the show table dialog box is displayed. From which you can select table or queries to add the query design. Okay, in this table, select the table and from the show table dialog box in which you would you like to run a query, select that query and click on add button and okay, then click on close button. After that, you can see the query one window selected table will appear as a small window in upper section of the query design object relationship pane okay it is called object relationship pane with this pane we can make the relationship between two tables now let's now move point to you that to reopen the show table dialog box click, click on show table button on the design tab. query setup group you can see now next select query table display as a list of fields double click on that field name you would you like to add in a query Okay, whatever field you want to add in a query, you can double click on it or you can drag it also. Okay? They will be added to the design grid in the bottom part of the screen. You can see this is a design grid window. Okay, in this you can add the suitable fields for you. You can also add fields to the query by dragging them. Design grid is small, uh, similar to a spreadsheet. Okay, you can see. This is a like spreadsheet window with columns representing each field in the query. Now let us understand the design grid. What is design grid? There is some points over here. Field, table, sort, show, criteria or or. Okay. Now first option is field. The first row of the design grid displays the selected field names from the table. Next is table. The name of the existing table is given beneath the each field name. You can see. Next is sort. This property is to filter the data either in ascending or descending order. It is an optional property. Okay, you want to choose or not. It is optional for you. Now next is show. The show row displays check mark. Okay, if you want to show that field or you want to omit or you can uh, put the check mark over here. Okay, the field with check mark display the information. When the query is being run, and to hide the field during runtime, we select the check mark by clicking on it. Now, next is criteria. Okay, in front of criteria, we can get the condition. It, okay, it contains the condition on the basis of uh, which the records will be filtered in the query output. Next is OR option. This property uh, is used to set multiple criteria. If you want to uh, give the multiple condition one or more condition so you can put the or or call now next mode effect for you to add all the fields present in a field list to the design grid double click on uh, the top part of the field list and drag it to the design grid drag it also okay so now we have run three pages now next specifying simple criteria this will, uh, this topic we will do in the next class Okay, first read the lesson again and again, watch this video very carefully and do practical practice of access. First we have to make the table, after that we can um, use that query. Okay, now I will give you homework, open page number 49, there are some exercises in the last of the chapter that you have to do in your copy, I will explain to you the answers. Okay, this is the first exercise. Fill in the blanks. Number one, the dash of the database object that helps us to 
screen drive and view information one or more database tables it is query okay now number two in a query the dash property is used to set the condition the basis of which the records are filtered it is criteria property in front of that we can give the conditions number three you can set multiple criteria in the query using dash property it is or property okay we can get the multiple conditions in the or property next is the dash property is used to filter the data either in an setting or descending order it is sort property next number five the dash is an effective way to organize and summarize data or viewing or printing it is report okay now these five fillers is from your book now i will give you some extra fillers number six dash are links that associate a field in one table with the same field in another table it is relationship number seven access provides two ways to create select queries by using dash and dash it is query wizard and uh, second is query design okay in two ways we can uh, create query in access Number eight dash allow to add and update data in one record at a time in a table. It is form. Okay, these eight fillers you have to do in your copy. Now next move on to next exercise. It is true, true or false. First, the queries help us to retrieve information from one or more tables that meet a specific condition. Yet it, it is true. Number two, you cannot run a query without saving it. It is false. We can run. Number three, a relationship work by matching a field with the same name in two tables. It is true. Number four, answer relationship is set. It cannot be deleted. It is false. We can delete. Number five, the form view is used to change the structure of your form. No, it is false. Okay. Now move on to next exercise. It is multiple choice question. Exercise C. First is which option used to change the appearance and size of various controls of a form? It is design view. Okay, in the design view only we can uh, change the appearance and sizes of the form. Okay. Number two, which one of the following is not a type of query? It is design. Okay. Select is a query. Cross tab is a query, but design is not a query. It's a view. Number three, how many views uh, does Access provide to display a form? It is three views. Number four, which key defines the relationship between two tables? It is primary key. Okay, with the primary key only we can give the relationship between two tables. Number five, the uh, data can be inserted, updated, and deleted from a table by using a form object. Okay. In the form, we can delete, update, or insert any uh, ex data in the table only in the form. Okay, now these three exercises you have to do in your copy as well as in your book also. And please be regular in your studies and do your work and send it to me for checking. Okay, and read the lesson again, watch the videos again. If you feel any difficulty, you can ask me any time. Okay, now that's all for today's class. Okay, next question answers we will do in the next class. Okay, now take care and goodbye.